Dozens of flights have been canceled at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport as Hurricane Irene and its remnants pound the East Coast. It is creating a hardship for travelers like Alyssa Brocious. She needed to be in Albany, New York by Monday and found that all flights going to the eastern seaboard had been canceled. I start a new job tomorrow and I've already had to call my new boss and say, hey, I'm not going to be there. So you know, first impressions with the new boss already skin up on the right foot. Irene extended a trip to Disney World for Cheryl Citro and her three daughters, but they are now anxious to get back to their home in an area of New Jersey that has been hit by flooding from the hurricane. Their options are to wait around at Hopkins and hope for a flight or rent a car and drive home. Well, we're concerned about our home and our pet and our family back in New Jersey. Um, as far as us here, I think we made out okay because we were, we were stuck in Florida. It wasn't too bad, but um, we're hoping to get home as soon as possible. A spokesperson for Hopkins tells Fox 8 News the schedule of flights to the East Coast should resume on Monday and be back to normal by Tuesday. Wayne Belding and his wife found themselves caught in the clutches of Irene while attending a memorial service in Connecticut and decided to rent a car and drive west to Cleveland to catch a flight back to their home in Colorado. Big storm will have big effect. I really uh, seems like people were well warned and, and reacted appropriately, but uh, you can't fly into a hurricane.